Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Joe Zakchevsky. After her third place finish at the 2014 IAU 100K World Championships. Congratulations, Joe. Thank you very much. Um, this is not your first success in Doha. Uh, you were second at the World Trophy just a few weeks ago. Yes? Yeah, um, same course, half the distance, uh, about 10 degrees warmer. So, which was more pleasant? Um, when I got to nearly 50k in this race, I wished I was doing 50k, but I have to say the temperature and the conditions were a lot better for this one. Nice. Um, so, it was a really competitive women's race, and a lot of women were together for a lot of it. What was it like being among so many competitive women for so long today? In this race? Yeah. I wasn't. You weren't? I was on my own. You were on? How did you manage to be on your own? Well, I'm not quite sure. I could see people up ahead and, and there were people behind, but I tend to run my own pace mm -hmm. and I didn't want to be dragged out into running somebody else's pace, uh, so I just kept going on what felt comfortable for me. And that seemed to go well. Were there any low spots along the race? Um, as it got nearer the end, um, and I thought I was tiring, but then I thought other people were tiring as well, so it's a case of you think you're tiring, but if you look at other people's positions, they're also getting a bit slower. And then I did think that my teammate was going to take third place from me in the last 2K, so I did have to actually form a sprint to 2K at the end. You didn't want uh, Joe Meek to catch you? Well, I would rather it was Joe Meek than anybody else. But, yes, yes, yes. Um, while you're out there, there's so many ins and outs on this course, but you get to see a lot of people. Yep. Were you seeing Ellie? Were you seeing Joe along the way? Yeah, I saw Ellie for most of the race, except for at the end when she was really motoring and she was just way out of it. Um, mm -hmm. Joe, I, I saw most of the race, and Ellie and I especially gave each other a cheer. We're sharing a room, uh, we're good friends, so we, we gave each other a cheer every time we saw each other. Were you on the previous team when uh, Ellie won Team Gold? No, I I don't think I was even really a runner much then. So really? Certainly not this distance. This so, is only my second one that I've done. So how long have you been running? Or what was your athletic history? Um, I started about seven years ago. I came to it from the other side. I was a race medic and an expedition medic. And then one of my friends convinced me to try running a race, which was across the Atacama Desert in Chile. Um, and I loved it. So I thought, actually, this is more fun than, than working as the crew. And when did you find yourself becoming competitive? It kind of happened by accident. Um, I went to Comrades one year with a friend who'd always wanted to do it. it didn't expect to do particularly well. Um, just saw it as, you know, an interesting trip to go on. But after that, I was selected as a wild card for the British 100K team. And you took that? I took that, went to Vinshoten, came second in the race. And yeah, have a look back, really. So what's your worst finish on a world stage? You got two seconds and a third I know of so far. Um, I came fourth at the World Trails last year, which was in Wales, and I was kind of a, really happy to do that because we got um, Team Bronze, mm -hmm. but I was about a minute behind the third place and about ten minutes in front of fifth place, so fourth is just not a good place to be. How can you explain so much success so quickly? Because that's tremendous in a, in a wide range of events too. I guess so, but I think um, a lot of people say what one of my best assets through running distance is that I love to eat. Um, and I do Gloria, eat and I have to eat before I run and I can actually eat when I'm running because I can't not eat for two hours. If I don't eat for two hours I get really grumpy. So I have to learn to eat and run and I think you need that for these distances. So this is a 100k on the roads. What, how often are you eating? What are you eating out there? Today was slightly different. Um, when I did the trails last year, um, people did laugh when they saw what I was eating because I had bags that I gave at every feed station and I had cheese in it because I wanted some protein and fat. I had caramel slice because I wanted chocolate and sweet stuff. I had sweets, I had gels, I had drinks. Here, slightly different, I had um, just gels and drinks um, and some caffeinated drinks, but I did have a secret stash of flapjack in case I wanted that in the race. It's a different fueling strategy, but it seems... Did you go there during the race? I didn't, but I'm hoping it's still in my bag so I can have it now. Did you go back to your room and chow down? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, anything else on your calendar for this year? No, I think this is... I, I mean, I've had a, a, quite an interesting year this year. Um, the year started off really, really badly for me because I got trampled within 10 seconds of the start of a race. I was doing a marathon, and then I got knocked down again. So I 
did that marathon with a broken nose and a cracked rib. Um, went to hospital at the end of it and that kind of put me out for a little while. Um, but then this summer has been absolutely amazing. I got pulled up at the last minute, ran in the Commonwealth Games, did the 50k here and I've just done this. So I think that's quite a good year How did the Commonwealth Games go for you? Uh, the race was not very good, but the experience was absolutely amazing. So where do you see yourself going next year? Not necessarily a race, but are you going to stay to the roadside? There's another IAU Trail World Championship. Anything that's sort of lighting you up for next year? It, it's really difficult because of the timing of everything. I think the Trail Championships is the same day as Comrades. I really like Comrades. Um, I've loved running that. I really liked running with the team on the trails. So it, it's really hard to decide what suits you best. In, in, in a way, I wish I was good at one thing and really rubbish at the other. And then they can say, well, definitely I'm rubbish at that. I'm not going to do it. Because I like both, it, it's hard to decide. And also, I guess I have to see what fits with work when I take leave and how I work it. So Ellie is your teammate. Yes. And she's she's just crushing it. What do you, like, oh, is she, it inspiring? She's, she's or her? amazing. Oh, I uh, just... Yeah, I haven't got words to describe it. She's just brilliant. And she's so uh, unassuming about it. We're sharing a room together. So when we first arrived, we arrived at different times. We haven't seen each other for ages. So we didn't get much sleep that night catching up. And I think we haven't really stopped talking all the time we've been here. Are you guys going to have armed guards with three golds and a bronze in your room? Oh, it's, a, it's great, isn't it? Yes. Um, so what do you prefer? Do you prefer trails or roads? I think it's difficult to say. I, I really like the scenery on the trails and getting out there and not worrying about time and splits. If I'm doing a marathon, then I'm obviously trying to run a time and certain splits. Here it was quite difficult because you had all these 180 degree bends. You were always going around every bend the same way and the course went always the same direction because mm -hmm. it was lap course. So I find now that one side of my body is really sore. So it's not something I really want to keep doing. and. It, obviously, it depends where they put races, because yep. um, you've got to travel to get to them as well. Could you ever see yourself stepping up and going like the 100 mile distance or, uh, or 24 hours or something? Somebody asked me about the 100 mile race once before, and I don't run that many miles in a week. So to do it all in a race, and I can't go that long without eating a proper meal. You could eat a proper meal, it's a 100 miler. Well, I could on a 24 hour race because you're a bit slower, but if you were like pushing for 100 miles, I don't think you'd sit down and have a meal, would you? Unless you could. The continental Europeans do. Oh, well, there you Just go, go watch well, UTMB or something. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> well, congratulations on a great race here and a great season. Thank you very much. Dr. Joe, ride high. <laughs> <laughs>